<coughs> hey guys, welcome to Samco Workshop. We are here in the 4Runner and uh, something that a lot of people wonder is uh, can you shift a 4Runner into 4-wheel drive while you're going down the road because it is a manual shift lever. It is not electronic like on my Tacoma where there's a knob right here to do it. On the 4Runner it's old school and it is a shift lever here um, and uh, they're wondering if you can do that. Well you definitely can and I will show you that but also it's very important to understand that you have to. It is mandatory. I don't care if you got a, a limited, uh, uh, um, you know, if you got a uh, Sport or you got a um, an SR5 or a TRD Off-Road, TRD Pro. I don't care what it is. If it's a 4Runner and it's four-wheel drive, it is mandatory that you make sure that you shift that four-wheel drive into four high at least once a month, in my opinion. Okay, even if it's only for two or three miles. Um, but mandatory to do it. Otherwise, the linkage and all the stuff under there and the transfer case, none of this stuff gets to work if you're not doing that. Mandatory that you shift into four-wheel drive a little bit. Now, you cannot shift into four low, okay? We got, see, if you look at this, you got four high. Get where the light's not on it. We're getting a little glare there. But you got four high, and uh, you got four, or, uh, let's look at it this way here. Where we at here? We got uh, uh, high two-wheel drive high four-wheel drive, and then we have low gear there, and then you got neutral, okay? Now, in order to shift into four low, which you're only going to do when you're seriously getting ready to hit a major off-road obstacle, that's when you would actually go into four high, put the gear shifter selector into neutral. Once you have it in neutral, you can then shift this into four low. You can then also use your um, a track and your rear locker and your crawl control or your MTS or any of the, th the specialty features you want to use are an option that you cannot do unless you're parked. You cannot shift from four high to four, four high to four low without going being completely stopped and going into neutral. But shifting from two high to four high you can do on the fly and uh, Toyota says um, in the manual if you're under 50 miles an hour you're fine to do it I'm gonna give you some advice um, the under 50 is a fantastic one it's always kind of been the go-to rule uh, for all vehicles but um, try to stay in a straight line when you're in four-wheel drive high engaged and you're on pavement it's really tough on a vehicle when you're making sharp turns like I would not put it in four high and um, go to a paved parking lot and be pulling in and out of parking spots okay it's not good for it so when you want to do this to actually get yourself you know just to work everything in and make sure it's lubricated well and working well uh, find yourself a nice straightaway that you're going on where you're a city street straightaway kind of thing doesn't matter if there's stop lights or anything like that but find yourself a nice straight road and as you're driving shift it into four high and then drive it that way for a few miles. Again, try to plan it where you're not gonna be making hard turns into a gas station. Like I said, four high, any four wheel drive system is designed to work best when it has loose um, traction, where it can slip, okay? The wheels can slip and take advantage of that. So, um, but when you're on hard pavement, you can still do it when you're going in a straight line or even following roads, but just avoid hard, hard turns in and out of things or hard left, hard rights, any of that stuff. Just do it when you're going down the road like we're going to show you so if i'm going here and we pull out we got to put the wipers on here we got a little rain and uh, so as we're driving let's see here and i might have tina she's with me i might have her hold the camera here in a minute just so you can see actually i'm going to give it to her and here you go so you're taking that and uh so we're going to show you up one sec here we gotta get ready to pull out all right, so we're pulling out now, we're on the road, but see, I'm not in four high. Doing this in four high would be bad. I'm still in four low, as you can see, look at here. Now, when I wanna shift, like right now, we're doing 30 miles an hour, okay? I got 30 mile an hour speed. I wanna go ahead and shift this. Now, look down here. All I'm gonna do is grab this, pull, I let off the gas, and I'm gonna pull it back. Now, I'm in four high. If you look at my dash, you can see the four wheel drive light is on right there. We're doing 35 miles an hour. I'm just driving, cruising, I'm in four high. I have no intentions of making any turns. This is, there's nothing wrong with this. And it's a good way to lube all this stuff up, okay? Um, so now we're driving, we're just cruising, la la la, a couple miles go by. I wanna put it back, look down here. I'm just gonna grab this. We're still doing 38 miles an hour. Push it, let off the gas, push it forward. Look at my dash. I'm back in four wheel, two wheel drive, not four wheel drive, I'm in two high, okay? So we're driving. Coming along, whatever we want to do, we'll get through this light here, and I will show you again. We'll do the same process. 
So um, I can probably turn these lights on here for you too a little bit, maybe help, there you go. But all right, so now here we are at 37 miles an hour again, just cruising through town, grab this, and I'm just gonna let off the gas and pull it back. Now I'm in four high. You can see it on the dash gauge. When I'm done and I let that work in for a little bit, looking down here one more time, I just grab this, push it forward, and now that's gone and I'm in two wheel drive. It is literally that simple. This is not rocket science. This is not hard, but what that's doing is that is lubing that entire system up, cleaning everything up, making sure that everything works well, good for your transfer case. And uh, believe it or not, I would say probably 80% of four runners, four wheel drive four runners, or four wheel drive vehicles in general never go off road and never use four wheel drive and that four wheel drive will seize up and become a problem so mandatory do this see here we're on a highway we're rolling along all right we're at 50 miles an hour exactly right now good 50 look at see 50 and then we go down here watch ready we're 51 pull it back and look okay we are in four wheel drive 50 miles an hour we're gonna go back now we're back in two wheel drive that simple okay don't overthink it uh, just make a point to do it about once a month pick a day like the day your car payments due on the 15th or something and every 15th day of the month or whatever it is just make a point to put it in four-wheel drive drive for a couple miles so that you get all that stuff taken care of but in a four-wheel drive manual like you have in the um, forerunner People are afraid of that. It's the same thing as pushing a button in, a, in my Tacoma. Turn my knob from two from two high to four high. Same thing, same same concept. Um, now this here is what you don't want to be doing in four high. See, if you look ahead of us, we're coming up here. We're at a at a turn right here. Um, so this is going to be a very hard left turn as I make this. I would not want to be in four-wheel drive high doing this on pavement because it's a lot of work for those wheels. And it's, you, you might even feel it going uh, 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 a little bit like that as it does. Or trying to go into Publix here and pull into a parking spot. You might pull in and it might be going, mm, 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 feeling it jerking. That's wheel slippage. They're trying to fight each other. So four-wheel drive on pavement, just keep yourself in a straight line when you're doing it, going down the main, down the road. Don't try doing a lot of turns with it. So there you go, little tip for you, and uh, thanks for watching.